How do Vilod Touch here, and today I am playing The Fortress of Zorlak, made by Paul Carson back in 1982 and published by Timet. Now, the aim of the game of Fortress of Zorlak is an utter shit called Zorlak is coming down in his fortress, a uh, movable fortress, and it's protected by four indestructible guns, the CAD, and you've got to shoot your way through his fortress. Uh, which is constantly moving. <laughs> which is constantly moving, so you've got to shoot your way through the fortress. Knackers in hell! Uh, whilst dodging bullets, which, as you've noticed, I'm doing a piss poor job. And then hit Zorak, where the. You can see him in there. Gideon, like a kid on Sherbert. So. I've got to shoot through this rotating fortress, which has got one, two, three. Is that three or four walls there that are rapidly rotating? And these four guns, which I can't shoot, are shooting randomly at me. And the fortress is moving constantly towards me. And I've selected fast mode because I played it a moment ago. And slow is slow. And it wouldn't have been an entertaining watch. Even though I never completed the game. you got five lives, by the way. Even though I never completed it, it was slow. Timid, some might say. So I've selected fast mode here. So, as you can see, I am said tank, which I have to admit, oh, but it's not got a turret on it. Oh, no, I'm on my fifth life now. Oh, but it's not... Oh, tits. Oh, but it's not got a turret on it. Yeah, I'll go again, thank you very much, Paul. Oh, but it's not got a turret mode. Fast mode, please. Oh, there's a suicidal mode there. I might go for suicidal mode in a moment. Oh, but there's no turret on my tank. Lost a life straight away there. And it looks quite nice. I do like the, the tank design. So here I am, again, shooting this fortress. And as you see, I take it nice chips away, I think. And I do like the fact that it rotates around this uh, rectangle. It is very well done. Because it means that I... Honestly, I'm playing this game and nodding my head up and down as I'm playing this. If you looked at me, it looked like some giant six foot two Viking crossed between a pigeon. Oh, I'm doing quite well here. Oh. Why do I say that? Why do I say that when I'm playing a, a sodding game? I utter those words and my demise comes rapidly after. But as you can see, the outer wall is nearly gone. And I'm, I have depleted his... Oh, look! I've chipped away his inner wall now. I'm coming for you, Zorlak, you arsehole. You mark my words, you're dead. I know I've only got this life and a fifth life. Oh, look. But trouble is, as his fortress gets closer, you've got a small amount of time to dodge any bullets that come from those guns. Oh, come on, let me hit him. Got big chunks out of his inner wall now. His inner sanctum is penetrated and I am going to kill the shit. Oh, no. On my last life. Oh, you get right. Let's have a bit of a laugh. I'll choose suicidal. Let's see how fast this game is on suicidal mode. Oh, probably won't last long here. <laughs> I said it wouldn't last long. Let's see what my cat light reflexes are at 41 years old. Look at how fast he goes now. He's had Sherbert and Red Bull now. I'm not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. You score get you get better score the faster the level goes. Oh. Come on. Oh, never mind. Last life, last but one. Penultimate. So I'll say my TTFNs now. TTFN, this is Fortress of Zorlock by Paul Carson, 1982. It's quite good. No, I want another game now, Paul. It's quite good. I recommend you download it from ZX81 stuff. Go and download it now. TTFN, ta-ta for now. Cheerio and bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.